Hi everyone and welcome to morning coffee break. I'm running late this morning. I overslept. Had a busy day yesterday and just I need some rest, I guess. Anyway, today is Saturday, September 10th. Uh, currently it's 66 degrees. Highs are only going to be 72. Why? Because it's raining. Uh, chance of rain 100%. It's raining now. Not hard right now, though. 90% uh, humidity, uh, 5 mile per hour winds, and air quality is 70. That's moderate. But I didn't get my seeds planted yesterday, the, the ones I was planning to do. I got, you know, some planted the day before, and I'm glad they're getting this rain. But I wish I'd have got some seeds planted yesterday for this rain, because that does it really good. You know, instead of just water them with tap water, they don't do as well. Um, I just didn't have time to get it done. And we, we ended up going to a grocery outlet. They had some things in the ad we wanted to look at. And they also, we were wanted to see if they had any more of those Tyson breakfast uh, chicken and waffle things. I guess you could have them anytime, really, but we had them for breakfast. And uh, they were so good, we wanted some more of them, and they were gone. You got to grab stuff when you see it over there, pretty much. I mean, if you don't, we just didn't have the extra money to buy more of them the other day. You know, I wish we would have got at least two more of them because they were really good. If you see those, you might want to try them. Yeah, if you see them anywhere. Uh, today, there'll be a drive with us to Walmart. Drive with us to Walmart today. Okay, so then the next day, there'll be the haul from Walmart. Um, so check that out. Last night, we had something easy, chili dogs and fries. We used those fries that we got from Grocery Outlet, if you've want, seen that vid, uh, video already. Um, and they're nice. You can see they're not little pieces like you buy at Dollar Tree. Those fries at Dollar Tree look like all leftovers or something. <coughs> but these are really good. As a matter of fact, we got another bag of them when we went yesterday, and I'll have that haul coming up soon, several days. But easy dinner last night. We just didn't feel like cooking a lot. And what happened? Uh, so what's for dinner tonight? Uh... I forgot to set anything out. I think we'll just have chicken sandwiches. Um, probably make some slaw. And I don't know. We I don't think we need to have fries or anything again. Uh, probably have some French style green beans or something like that. Some kind of vegetable. Okay. All right. I've got a morning coffee break taste test. Hold on just one minute. All right, I cut myself shaving, I can see right here. Boy, sometimes it won't quit bleeding when you cut yourself shaving. It takes forever. Okay. Let's see. Let's do, uh, I've got, a, I've got a, a morning coffee break taste test, which you've seen in the uh, thumbnail. We got this at um, Grocery Outlet. We got it yesterday, so you'll see it on that haul, but you'll see this first. And it is, I guess you pronounce that stock or stoke? I don't know when it has that mark above the O. Does that mean it's pronounced a certain way? Let's say stock. That's probably what most people would say. It's cold brew coffee. And what does it say? I, I literally can't even on the bottom of it. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. See down here? I literally can't even. Says. And this one, I thought this would be a good time of the year to try this one. It's pumpkin creamed. And it says OMG hashtag pumpkin pumpkins S. ZM 
What is, <laughs> there's another one. I don't know what that means. These letters. But I, like I said, I got this at Grocery Outlet. It seems like I've seen this before elsewhere. I, I'm, I'm almost thinking I saw it one time at Aldi. But I don't think, I don't know if they have it right now. Okay, maybe it tells more. It says it's pumpkin AF because pumpkin spice tastes pretty freaking awesome. Is that cinnamon, nutmeg? We're not judging. We're down. Cold brew. The marketing department made us do this again, but let's face it. Pumpkin is delicious. Did you say basic? What evs? This pumpkin. This is pumpkin the way stock would make pumpkin. Bold coffee, forward and tasty, and we are here for it. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> they got all kinds of crazy stuff on here. Let's do the nutrition facts. Uh, if you drink 12 ounces, it's 150 calories. Uh, total fat, 3.5 grams is 4%. 2 grams saturated is 10%. No trans fat. 15 milligrams of cholesterol is 5%. 100 milligrams of sodium is 4%, 24 grams of carbs, 9%, no fiber, 19 grams of sugar and 13 grams added is 26%, 5 grams of protein, I'm surprised about that, I guess because the coffee has some protein, 15% uh, of calcium and 10% of potassium, so not too bad. I paid $1.49 for it down there, I'm sure it would be more than that elsewhere. So. Look for this at your favorite store. I've seen it other places, but I wasn't really looking for it, you know. And uh, But I've seen it, and I'm pretty sure. I don't know if it was Walmart or Kroger or both. And I, I thought I saw one like this at Aldi, but I, it could have been a different one. It looks kind of like chocolate milk. It's hard to, be hard to show you what it looks like. I don't think you can see it in here. Let's see if I don't spill it. Well, <gasps> I did spill a little bit of it. It looks like chocolate milk. So I can't really show it to you, but that's what it looks like. I can smell pumpkin. Oh my goodness. Oh, that is really, really good. It's not, it's not overly, you know, like the like sickening sweet or anything. It's, it's just right. And I don't, you know, I'm not crazy about everything pumpkin spice. I, there's some things if I've tried that I just, I can't really tell you which ones, but right off hand but I mean there's some things I thought you know that just is too too sweet or too this or that but um, I really enjoy this oh yeah I, I, I give out a five out of five I, I really like the flavor of this it's just right I'll get you some of that, y'all, if y'all like pumpkin spice. And I'm, like I said, if even if you're not, if you're like me and you're not super crazy about really strong f uh, flavor of pumpkin spice, this is just right. So, I highly recommend that. Get some more regular coffee here. And the juniors from yesterday did make another pot and it had just a little bit left over, so it's probably basically for two pots. Uh, today's tidbits, I can only find one today. Uh, all the rest were, like I said, you know, weather related, there's gonna rain here, it's, you know, this or that, so, uh, and, and other things that weren't, you know, the earthquakes and stuff. It's every day. Every day there's earthquakes, it seems like, somewhere. But I found one, and it says Eerie Harvest Moon to illuminate the sky today. Then I thought y'all might be interested in a harvest moon. Stargazers will enjoy the eerie orange color 
September full moon, which will illuminate the sky Saturday. This lunar event is known as the harvest moon as it occurs near the fall equinox that happens on September 22 when farmers harvest their crops. As the full moon is near the horizon, it will rise earlier than normal and peak early Saturday. And since it's cloudy here, probably won't see it. You know, since it's raining and stuff. Okay. Let's find nice news. Where are you? Man, I get so many emails. It's unbelievable. Okay. I want to have some more of this. Well, I'm really liking that. Meet the man who launched the kindness movement to honor 911. When Kevin Turf's flight from Europe to the U.S. was diverted on September 11, 2001, he and around 7,000 other people deplaned in Gander, Newfoundland. Despite the small town's population nearly doubling in one day, the community mobilized to support the stranded visitors. It took me seven days to get home, finally, and after that I continued to be blown away thinking of the kindness and compassion of the people on that island. Inspired by this, his experience, the Texas local gave his employees the following September 11 off to perform good deeds. Over the past two decades, his simple idea has grown into a massive movement called Pay It Forward 911. This year, which marks the 21st anniversary of, I guess, 911, not 911, 9-11, uh, hundreds of thousands of people in schools, businesses, and communities across the globe are expected to join the initiative's 11 Days of Kindness and Unity campaign. Performing acts of service like delivering food, handing out free coffee, donating blood, and knitting hats for children with cancer, said Turf. This is one person at a time and isn't going to solve everything, but I have seen the ripple effect in action, how people feel when they do something good for someone else, and I think we need that right now. Oops, I did the wrong one. <coughs> Scientists successfully reproduce endangered coral species in Florida lab. Wow. In an exciting breakthrough in the effort to save Caribbean coral, a team of marine biologists in Florida has successfully reproduced the endangered elkhorn coral species using aquarium technology. Uh, this, uh, the achievement could not only help repopulate at-risk reefs, creating richer habitats for diverse sea life, but may also provide protection from hurricanes along the coastline by breaking up large waves during storm surges. When it finally happened, the first sense is just sheer relief, Carrie O'Neill, a senior scientist at Florida Aquarium in Tampa, told CNN. This is a critical step to preventing elk horn coral from going extinct in the state of Florida. Only 300 Elkhorn coral currently live in the Florida Keys Reef Tract, but the lab experiment spawned thousands, about 100 of which are expected to survive into adulthood, buying time for the population to thrive. There is hope for coral reefs, O'Neill said. Don't give up hope. It's all not lost. However, we need to make serious changes in our behavior to save this planet. I agree. Italian trains offer views, experiences that take passengers back in time. Oh, I'd love to be on an old train like that. That'd be awesome. Attention train lovers, this is your sign to book a trip to Italy. The country has a series of antique train tracks, some dating back to the end of the 19th century, that expose passengers to a variety of landscapes and promise a trip back in time. For passengers wanting to experience the rolling hills of Tuscany, Look no further than the historical De Orchia Valley Nature Train. The Trans-Siberian Railroad offer, also offers magnificent views and is named for its resemblance to Siberia due to the snow-covered fields and frozen streams the trains pass during wintertime. If you're craving sights of, a, of ragged hills and isolated caves, the Silla Railway, which passes by old shepherding towns, 
may be for you, Thrillist reports. For those looking to encounter Italian cities in history, the Archeo train connects Naples to Pompeii, Herculaneum, and Paestrum, which were buried in ash when Mount Vesuvius erupted almost a millennia, two millennia ago. Constructed in the early 1900s, the Rome Vetero Little Train takes riders from Rome's center through the countryside, passing sites of ancient Roman battles and medieval castles. The written narrow gauge train, a 1907 single wooden carriage train, transports riders up to the Dolomites Mountains while stopping at Alpine towns. And last but certainly not least, the Bugaroos Mine tr Rail Track allows riders to un experience an underground journey through abandoned mines. If this hasn't been enough to convince you to time travel on one of Italy's old railways, click below to learn about learn more about each track. Oh, that'd be interesting. That, that would be neat. Okay, everybody, that's going to be it today for morning coffee break. Today's tidbits and nice news. Couldn't find it, uh, any tidbits that were worthy of, of uh, sharing with you, you know. So, it just happens sometimes. It's raining a little bit harder now. Gosh, I wish I'd have got those seeds out yesterday. I just didn't have time. We decided to go to Grocery Outlet late. And that's when I do my, my work in the garden is when this sun isn't... I mean, it's shade back here starting about 6.30, 6. And uh, that's when I go out there and do stuff. It's just been too hot. It's not too hot today, but it's raining. So I can't get out there and plant seeds in rain. So... Maybe it'll stop later on or I can do it tomorrow. We'll see. So everybody, I hope you have a great day. I appreciate you watching so much. Uh, if you enjoyed this, please press that like button. Also subscribe if you haven't already and share this out. And hit that <coughs> so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day and check out uh, Drive With Us to Walmart. Uh, I actually, I was going to pause it when I got there, but I wanted to take a picture. When I took a picture, I hit the wrong button and it cut off. So that's why it cuts off right when we're getting ready to park. So I just want to let you know. So thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day, and I'll see you later on. Oh, I almost forgot, and God bless.